In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all practical things on how I studied, okay? And then how I studied and remembered in nursing school. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Hey everyone, so my name is Joy and I am a registered nurse, okay? I recently graduated from nursing school. So... Um, I will be sharing with you practical things like I said. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. It is free of charge. So, the first thing I will tell you guys is know your study style. Yes, know your study style. Know if you are a night reader or if you are a day reader, okay? Just know the one you love. When I entered school newly, like when I got into school, I was doing everything. But with time, I noticed that the night reading didn't really work well with me because we were going to go to, you know, what they call awoko. If you don't know what awoko is, awoko is when you go to class, you leave your comfort zone, go to class, and then you will read throughout the whole night, okay? You read throughout the whole night, having like an hour or two as your break. But I found out that, you know, reading during the day was best for me. So I sticked with it. So what I'm trying to say is know your reading style. And then after knowing your, you know, style of reading, also know if you like a cool, calm environment or you like to read with music. Know these things. They are important. Know it. So those are your study style. So the second thing I will tell you is that do not stay at home while you are reading like don't stay at home or in your hostel when you want to study i will advise that you go to a library or you go to your class like your school just go there and study because when you're at home there is so much distraction you know there's the tv there there is even if there's no tv like in my own apartment in school there was no tv but still i still got distracted i usually get distracted so what i'm saying is do not stay at home go to the library if you have one around you go to your school classrooms if they are open just find somewhere calm quiet to go that is away from your home except you are a very disciplined person that can read in their house if you cannot please find somewhere to go and study the third thing i will be telling you is study the right thing for the first time okay when you are studying make sure you're studying the right thing like the right material use your google like google it make sure you're studying the right thing what i mean is if for example it's your first time of studying pulse rate normal range of blood pressure make sure that you're studying the right range because you do not want to study the wrong range and then later you will now start trying to correct that wrong thing that you have studied is going to you know cause conflict in your head it is definitely definitely going to cause conflict in your head so the fourth thing this is actually a kind of controversial but i am still going to say it have a study partner and not a study group yes have a study partner and your study it should just be you and your partner reading together or a group of three me i like like just me and my partner okay when it's more than two when it's three four five or six oh my god you will take so long you will take so much time to cover up you know the things you are supposed to read you will take so much time because before this one would read recite recite before everybody recites what they read before everybody shares their own idea oh my god you will take so long on a very short thing that you are doing. So just have a study partner instead of a study group. Have a study partner, okay? And make sure your study partner is also gingering you. Make sure your study partner is, you know, the one that likes, you know, she wants to excel and stuff. My study partner, we know they do. Like, we will always want to study, make sure we pass our exams and be done with that stage of our lives, okay? Like, it's so tiring when you are all, you know, gingered to read and your partner is, you know, lazy. Your partner is lazing around. 
that thing is going to just demoralize you okay the lazy one will be drawing the other one back and you do not want something like that okay so make sure your partner is a partner that is pushing you towards studying pushing you towards the right thing you know so guys the next thing i would say is have a study target okay have a study target for the day for the night for the weekend like just when you want to read just tell yourself i want to finish this topic mm? or i want to finish this 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 and this that will keep you motivated to finish what you are supposed to finish at the right time okay so guys the sixth thing i'm going to tell you all is for you to focus yes focus guys when you're going to study if you have to put keep your phones in the house please keep it in the house that's if you have to but if you have you know like two phones and one is for your social media and one you have google inside that you can use to google what you whatever you want to google right while reading i would advise you take the one you can use to google why is because if you take your social media phone and for example you are studying and you decide to check one notification my dear brothers and sisters that is how you will spend your entire day on social media yeah so avoid distraction avoid your phone at all means what you can do is you know using your phone as a timer yes you can either use your phone as a timer while reading or freeze all other social media apps just freeze all other social media apps so that you can focus and then concentrate while studying so guys my seventh tip on you know how i study and how i remember is memorizing yes memorizing how do you memorize how like how do you memorize some people will write it down like after studying they're going to write it down if it's um osteomyelitis they're going to write it okay what is osteomyelitis write it down studies have shown that when you write things down you tend to remember it okay you just tend to remember them when you write them down personally i do write them down like after studying i have a big note where i write things down after studying i just write them down and after writing them down you know i after like an hour i'll try to recite what i've read or after reading the whole target that i have i would try to recite it you know and after that one hour after two hours i'll still try to recite it if i cannot recite it i will go back to the jotting notes where i wrote it down so that i could you know get it and remember it so the thing i do is like i said write it down first and then recite it okay so it's very good if you like to write it down write it down if you like to say it out say it out okay so guys if you also need to you know write them on a wall so that every write them close to your bed maybe in the hostel or in your room just write them down on sticky papers so that when you get up in the morning especially things like bp range pulse rate temperature rate and temperature range all those ranges you can write them down and recite it if you've watched to this point please make sure to like the video yes guys like 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 the video and for my bonus tip i would like you to join groups join nursing group check on facebook for nursing group some of them will redirect you to whatsapp check for study group nursing study group some of them i remember one that i joined one time they usually send notes like they will send pdf notes on different topics they will send it and then you would be able to you know study from there it is not everything it is not everything that they will teach you in nursing school 
I hope that this tip help you because we've actually come to the end of this video. Okay, so drop your suggestion, your contribution in the comment section. Okay, I would love, love, love to read those comments of yours. And let me actually, um, you know, say this. One of my subscribers actually insisted that I do this video. It was already on my list. But she also said I should please tell her how I study, you know, and how I actually remember what I study. So these are the things, okay? So make sure to like, subscribe if you have not, and also check out my other videos. Check out my other videos, you know, I do procedure videos, I do tips for, you know, you to pass your nursing or ski and your nursing school entirely, okay? So, um, see you guys in my next video for now. Bye.